Hey guys, Technocration here, and today I'm going to be doing another £400 gaming PC. This build's a micro ATX build, so it should fit on your desk nicely and look like a really solid little thing. You can use this as a home theatre PC, or just as your average daily driver. Now this PC is not really meant for gaming, but it can be, and it can should probably run most games from medium to maybe high at 1080p. Now because we're using the integrated graphics, we're going to need to go down the AMD line, as they generally have the best integrated graphics. So for the CPU, we're going to be using the AMD A10 6800K 4.1GHz quad-core processor. It's a very good processor, really good R9 uh, integrated graphics and it comes in at an astonishing price of £92. So we'll move on to the motherboard. We're going to be using a micro ATX motherboard from MSI. This is the A55M E33 micro ATX FM2 Plus motherboard. It's a great motherboard, really reliably built. You may be able to do some overclocking with this, um, and it comes in at a really solid price of £31. Since we're using the integrated graphics of this CPU, we're going to be needing a little bit more RAM than usual, as it uses uh, the normal RAM as its VRAM. So instead of going for the normal 8 gigabytes as you would for gaming, we're going to be going for 16 gigabytes of Kingster Fury Red Series uh, DDDR3 1866 megahertz RAM and this comes at a great price of just under £100. So if, the, if you're going to be using this as a home theatre PC or you've just got lots of games and need to store them all, we're going to need to get a fairly reliable and tough HDD. So for the hard drive I'm going with the Seagate Barracuda 1TB 3.5 inch 7200 RPM hard drive. This is a great hard drive, almost everyone uses it if they're not going for western digital drives and it comes at a really solid price of just under £40. Now housing this micro ATX build is one of Fractal Design's most minimalistic faces. Even though their designs are already minimalistic, I really like this design with the grilled front and the smooth back. This is the Fractal Design Core 1000 micro ATX mini tower. This is a really solid case and should provide plenty of cooling for this computer. This case comes in at just under £20 so I think this would be great for the build. For the power supply I'm going to be going with the Be Quiet 300 watt ATX 12V um, power supply. It's a really great power supply, it comes at a great price of £31. If you're going to be upgrading and need to go for an, another GPU later on to run in Crossfire, you may need to get a bigger power supply, something like the uh, 500 watt Corsair series because they're reliable and trustworthy as well. Now with this build comes a monitor as well because this build's meant to be starting you out in the gaming world or if you don't necessarily need this if, you, if you're going to be using it as a home theatre PC. So the monitor I selected is the LG 22M P55HQ P22 inch monitor. It's a really great monitor, it comes in at just over £100 but I'm sure the price will drop soon. It's a solid IPS panel. So that completes our build. We're not going to be using any cooling as the Scott cooling should be perfectly fine for our CPU. Later on you may want to upgrade it to something like the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo or maybe even water cool it. If you enjoyed this video and want to help me produce more, please check out my Patreon link in the description. Uh, it helps the channel grow and come better with new video equipment and things like that. Another way you can help the channel is to bookmark our Amazon UK or US affiliate links to your browser. And so whenever you shop on Amazon, we get a small kickback from that. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next one.